Hey everyone, my name is Will, I'm the CEO of Phonely, and today I wanna to walk you through a super quick tutorial of how you can build a voice agent in Phonely in just a few minutes that can scale up from one call to one million plus. If you're new to Phonely and if you're wondering if it's for you, well, let me tell you what it is and why we've built it. We built Phonely to be the easiest way for any business to use artificial intelligence to answer the phone, that's it. We don't believe that you need to learn how to prompt engineer or code to build a voice agent that can answer your calls, schedule appointment, qualify your customers, place outbound calls, take inbound calls, or do all of the stuff that you may need your phones to do. So today, I wanna to get in a quick tutorial of how everyone from really small businesses to large enterprises and even governments are using Phonely to scale their phone support. So let's jump right into it right now with the agent design page. So currently we're on the dashboard, we're gonna to get to that later, but I wanna show you how to build an agent today to show you really how easy it is. All right, so when you get to the agent design page, it's gonna look something like this, and in Phonely, we've got a few different options right off the bat. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select a voice. Now, we've got hundreds of different providers to choose from here. As you can see here, we support multiple different languages, multiple accents, and we can actually switch the language live on call for certain voices, which allows you to maybe start talking in English and answer in Spanish. When you go and choose a voice, you also have the option to uh, what we call clone a voice, and this is going to basically clone the audio from whatever voice you have to make your AI agent sound exactly the way that you want. After we've gone ahead and chosen a voice, the next thing that we can do is we can head over here to our knowledge base, and we can either upload files such as PDFs, text files, Word docs, whatever you need, you can upload that information there, or you can scrape it directly from your website by just importing the URL right there. Now, what the knowledge base does is it basically is kind of like a search engine. So um, it allows Phonely at any point during the conversation to be able to access that knowledge base to retrieve some information. That could be anything from pricing information, frequently asked questions or stuff like that. So you almost think about it as like, oh, somebody's asking a question, we're gonna refer to the knowledge base to answer that. Now, a lot of what Phonely's done is built in what we call a flow-based architecture. So you can see that there's this big canvas right here. So if you click on that, you can see that it enters into a full screen mode where we can design the conversational flow that we want our agent to do. Now this canvas is really cool because it doesn't just allow us to design how the agent talks, but it allows us to integrate real-time actions such as appointment scheduling, sending text messages, sending emails, and so much more. So to get started with building a flow in Phonely, it's really easy. We're gonna start with the call answered block here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna design out a architecture. So let's just, let's just go up here and, and put a step in between. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kick the plus button here, and we have two different options. One of them is the flow block, and the other one is the live call action block. So flow blocks are gonna design the conversation that the agent is having, whereas live call actions is actually gonna do stuff, which might mean scheduling appointment, sending an email, et cetera. The most valuable block that you have here is the talk block, and in this situation, we can instruct the talk block um, to basically have a conversation with the user to collect some information. So it's almost like if I have a person and I have them want them to do a specific goal, well, that's exactly what we can tell the talk block to do. For example, greet the caller, um, get their name and phone number and email. So let's say I just set that up, um, and then I can go click Generate with AI, and this is gonna create a perfectly crafted prompt for the AI agent to uh, basically accomplish the objective that we just sent there. So after the task has been completed successfully, it's gonna do a few things. And one of the things it's gonna do is it's gonna store variables. Now, variables are basically pieces of information that the AI agent is going to use later in the conversation and it's gonna be available on a little pop-up. And let me just show you exactly how we can use these variables. So we collected the caller's name, um, we formatted that as a name, we collected the phone number, and we collected the email. So let me show you how we can use that information in a later block. So now we've connected this all up, and what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to add some live call actions here. So in this situation, we might wanna add sending a text message. What we can actually do is we can use that phone number that we just gathered right here, so caller phone, and that information is now gonna take that and it's gonna put that phone number right there, so when that caller com calls in, it's gonna send a text message to wherever they need it to be. 
Additionally, we can do the same thing on the email. So if we want it to go to a specific email, well, you can see we can just click on this right here and that email is now going to be sent to that caller um, so that, or to, sorry, that, that phone is going to be sent to the email that that person um, has requested. So now that we understand how we can use this conversational style to build really complicated or really simple workflows um, that an AI agent is actually going to guide. So it's not like an IVR system. This is gonna have a real human-like conversation and actually guide the conversation. Now, there's a lot more stuff that I'm not gonna get into today. You can follow up with some of our other tutorials on the platform if you wanna learn more about that. Um, but what you can do right before we head out here is you can add what's called post-call action. So one really cool thing about Phonely is it's not just what Phonely is doing during the conversation, but what it can do after it as well. So let's say that during our conversation, we, uh, we, have our, we finish our conversation and maybe at the end, we wanna send ourselves an email to let us know that somebody just called. Well, we have an email block where we can actually just send us an email um, with, it, with the full summary of the conversation um, or we can customize that more. So that is the tutorial of how you get started building your first agent. A lot of what you're doing is you're simply just mapping out the conversational flow that you want your agent to do. So if you want to book an appointment, you need to gather the information to book the appointment. You need to you know, set, put, set up that information, um, make the connection happen, and then that appointment is actually going to be scheduled without learning how to code, without doing any prompt engineering. Just simply type it in and, and it will work for you. All right, so now we're gonna go into some of the other features here. Um, the next thing that we have is outbound calling. So if you're looking to get outbound calling set up um, and you do have you know, TCPA approved regulations for this, uh, basically what you can do is create outbound calling campaign that can be triggered either continuously um, or by a batch call. So continuous calling means, let's say that every single time a new lead is submitted in your form, uh, it's gonna automatically call a customer. You can do that via Google Sheets or you can do it via an API. Um, by, a, by a webhook, or you can batch call, which means you upload a list of CSVs and you build out a flow and it calls them. I'm not gonna get into a full outbound calling tutorial, but I wanna let you know it's something that we do offer as well. The next thing that I can show you is our A-B testing. So A-B testing allows Phonely to basically compare different features, um, different voices, different accents, different prompts, whatever you want, we can actually A-B test those and optimize it for a specific conversion. So if you're wondering how your voice agent is converting on a sales call, on lead qualifications, we have that feature built in. And again, this is one of those things that I'm gonna go through in a later tutorial. So we'll skip on to the last feature that I wanna go over today. Finally, we have a full call history page where we're not just you know, uh, summarizing the call, but we're giving you different analytics like the call topic, why the call actually ended, what was the outcome, the sentiment, um, and, and so much more. So in this situation, um, we're just gonna see that once we click on that, we get a full breakdown of the call summary, we get the call recording, we get you know, transcripts that comes up, um, and then we can view the conversation as it goes through um, and we can see if it's like sending any text messages, you can actually see what is being sent in real time during the conversation. So if you like that, you can go head over to Phonely's platform. It is completely free to use um, to get started. You get 100 minutes a month um, and a phone number so you can hook this up to your business um, in just a few minutes and have an AI agent that's going to answer your phone, uh, schedule your appointments and really do what you need to do. If you're a larger business or organization that does you know, above about 2000 calls a month, uh, we would love to talk to you. We have custom onboarding plans, designated compute, um, latency reductions, and a lot more for our enterprise users. And we also help you set it up completely white glove and we'll build it out for you. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video to the end. And if you're interested in learning more about Phonely, well, you can just get started by clicking the link um, up at the top of the page or in the description, wherever you're watching this. And we're super excited to help you answer your phones um, in the most efficient and easiest platform possible.